He is my life, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. For it had to Father, just thank you so much for this day and just thank this opportunity that him and I have to, to finally get married after all these years to work. I just thank you so much for it. Please help us to always put you at the center of our lives and know that without you, we, can, we can't get through anything, but with you, we can do anything and everything. And we just ask that once again, you would just bless us and be with us throughout our lives and help us to always reflect your glory and grace. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, yes. Oh, I'm ready. I've never been so sure, cried so steady. I'm gonna live my life to keep the promises I made. Even though I make mistakes, I know I'm ready. Found a heart that was just like mine Yeah, I found a heart that was just like mine Pull it out a little bit first, maybe It's the kind of love that can make you blind <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be doing this And I'd do anything to see him smile Oh, I'm ready I've never been so sure of Christ so stay I distinctly remember the first time I heard about this mysterious blonde boy who had captured Hannah's attention. It was during eighth grade. Hannah walked into homeroom one, home one morning, and you could tell she was eager to tell me something. Before I even had a chance to ask how she was doing, she blurted out, Sonia, I just saw the cutest guy at soccer practice last night. He was running shirtless. What she failed to mention was that he had highlights that resemble Justin Timberlake circa 1999. It's funny looking back, but I feel so lucky to have witnessed Dylan and Hannah's relationship unfold. You could tell from the very beginning they were perfect for each other. Their relationship was and continues to be effortless, exactly how it should be. Yeah, he makes me laugh and he lets me cry. It was about eight years, nine months, three days ago when this amazing relationship started. Um, so after school one day, these two were online and instant messaging each other, which some of you might know what that is. And the lovely Hannah texted him and said, or instant message and said, are we dating or what? And Dylan's response was, no. Do you want to be? And of course, as you can tell, she said yes. Thankfully. Just to spend it by your side, I know I'm ready. Oh, oh, oh it's the treasure of my life. Just to spend it by your side, I know I'm ready. Hannah, wow, can you believe that the day we've dreamed of for over five years is finally here? It seems like just yesterday we were standing in my dad's office parking lot while we were both still in high school longing for this day to get here but realizing it was still so far away. For the past eight years and eight months, we've literally walked through together as best friends. 
We've laughed, we've cried, we've argued, but above everything else we've loved. It's crazy to think that we literally started dating when you were just barely a teenager at the age of 13 while I was only 14. Just look at the two of us now at 21 and 22 years of age. We were just kids back then, struck with a helpless case of puppy love. Me with my long shaggy hair and highlights and you with your skinny jeans and turtlenecks. What a long way we've come from those days. We walked through so many stages of life together, it's hard for me to remember what life was even like before we started dating. I can't imagine having spent the last almost nine years of my life with anyone else but you. You were my source of strength in many situations, and I'm so glad that God put you in my life when, we, when He did, even if it meant waiting until now to get married. Sure, we both made our fair share of mistakes, both as, in, both as individuals and as a couple, but that's the best thing about the grace that God offers us through Jesus Christ. He offers it to us freely, even though we've done nothing to deserve it, but yet we've done everything imaginable to deserve His wrath. My promise to you is that I will continue to love you no matter what happens, and that I will forget, forgive you no matter what. I promise to always strive to love you as God intended for His sons to love His daughters. Because as it says in Ephesians 5, I am to love you as Christ loved His church. I absolutely cannot wait to marry you in just a few short hours, and I hope that this day is everything you ever hoped it would be. And tonight, when we finally get to consecrate our marriage, I pray that we would make the conscious decision to honor Christ and His church in our lifelong marriage by striving to love each other just as Christ loved His church. I love you, Hannah. I always have and I always will. Yours truly, Dylan. have heard these words and we've read these verses before but I am afraid we have forgotten the context in which they were penned. See this thing called Christianity was new. Many of the followers were pagan and in the pagan world and many times in the Jewish culture marriage had come to mean little if anything. Adultery, divorce, mistreatment of women were more common than not and it actually became the rule rather than the exception. It was in this environment that God gave instructions to not only these early Christians, but to all that are gathered here today. He used the perfect relationship between His Son and His bride, the church, to direct our relationship with each other. But most importantly, to direct that relationship between a husband and his wife. After almost nine years, it is hard to believe this day is finally here. I knew long ago that you were the man for me, so I'm incredibly thankful that we have made it to this point today. Sorry. Of course it was your looks that first attracted me to you. What 13 year old could resist Justin Bieber hair and a country accent? But over time I, I found that there was so much more to you than shaggy hair and highlights. And eventually your accent went away. I admire that no matter if it is Fiji, your job, or your relationships with others, you are committed to putting in your best effort and always staying true to your word. And I'm so glad that I will have a husband that will be a leader in our household. You know that one of the things that attracts me to you is the way you are with children, and inevitably the way you will be with our own children one day. You make me so proud when I see you with kids. The amount of patience and love you have with them is so admirable. I also can't wait to see the spiritual leader you will be in our household as well. After all, if it weren't for you and your influence, I wouldn't be where I am today in my walk with Christ. I know we both have a ways to go and that we should never be satisfied in where we are in our relationships with God, but I'm so confident that as we go into this new stage of our lives together, we are both committing ourselves to growing our marriage from a firm foundation in Christ. I know that you know that as long as we can remember that, we can get through anything. All in all, as we enter this day, I just wanna thank you for everything. I wanna thank you for who you are who you have been, and who you will be. And I want you to know that no matter what, I will always be here by and on your side. I loved you yesterday. I love you still. 
I always have and I always will. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you by my side. XOXO, your soon to be wife, Hannah. How do I look? You look really beautiful. himself for no one ever hated his own flesh because we are members of his body therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife and the two shall become one flesh this mystery is profound and I'm saying it refers to Christ and the church however let each one of you love his wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Love is such a simple word in the reality it really is. As already spoken by the Apostle Paul, he simply described what love is and what love is not. We are the ones that make it hard and complicate things. God knew we would, thus He kept it simple for us and reflected back on the perfect example of love as shown by Him and His Son, Christ Jesus our Savior. I ask you now before God to pledge your love to one another. Dylan, do you give yourself to Hannah to be her husband, uh, to live with her according to God's Word? Will you love her? Will you comfort and honor her and protect her and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. I do. And Hannah, do you give yourself to Dylan to be his wife, uh, to live with him according to God's Word? Will you love him and comfort him Will you honor and protect him and forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I do. Upon your vows to one another this day in the presence of God and your family and friends, it is my pleasure and my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Dylan, you may kiss your bride. Dylan Ward. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Thank you. 